How you guys doing? Hey, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. Yeah, enjoy that. Enjoy family. Um, any common theme that you've been able to identify in um, the explosive plays? I mean, I know sometimes it's been tackling, mm -hmm. sometimes it's been someone misaligned, sometimes it's just been a deep shot. Like, but is there any anything that can be a, a talking point to help prevent that? It's all execution. And that was, um, you know, we showed some good plays and some bad plays. First thing when the guys came back. And when I told them there was three plays for 142 yards, right? And when they looked at it, ah, you know, it's just easy, but in the moment of truth, you have to execute. And we didn't on those three plays. And I told them it was 377 yards. If you eliminate those three plays, well, we should. Now it's 235 yards, 46 attempts, 5.1 per attempt. And that's going to be number one in the NFL. But that's kind of what's plagued us throughout the season, I've told you guys before, it comes down to like two or three plays. Now we were able to overcome that, but that's what we have to eliminate. You talk about a, a guy like uh, you know Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, not only mm -hmm. is this Rams team obviously very talented offensively, but they have a lot of experience at, uh, mm -hmm. at those positions. Do you think kind of uh, the experience on that side of the ball kind of helps fill what makes them so dangerous on that side? Without a doubt. I mean, well, I want to get Stafford when I was in Minnesota for a long time when he came to the league. And I was like, oh my God. And he had Kelvin Johnson there too. But uh, he has all the arm talent and he's smart. I think more in that system, he probably has more freedom with Sean McVay than other quarterbacks in that system. He's checking things at the line of scrimmage. You can see he has complete control. And then when you have, you know, same receiving core with the talent they have, they're all on the same page. So everything's well oiled in terms of what they do. I mean, a lot of shifts and motions, but you can tell they just know it like the back of their hand. And it makes it tough. You have to be right. You know, so it's going to be a tremendous challenge for us. Joe, how, how do you think the, the substitution patterns on the defensive line have just kind of like helped those guys get into like a rhythm and a feel again? That's always the plan. It's like, you know, we, when, when it's all said and done, some guys will have slightly more reps, but we want to make sure that all the guys are playing. So when you get into the fourth quarter, right, the guys are fresh, you know, when it's time to rush the quarterback. So I feel like the rotation's been good. I feel like the guys are playing playing better. So we're just going to keep doing it. And just yeah. like, I don't know, someone like Cam playing a little bit more, playing some more yeah. extended snaps in a row, like yeah. setting up the pass rush, playing that, like, does that help him? Absolutely. That a little bit more? Yeah, because you know you're going against, you're more familiar with the, the games. We do carry quite a few pass rush games. So all that stuff helps. And then, you know, we have a veteran guy, the communication in terms of what they're running based on the protection or based on the formation that you get that by being on the field. So I, f I feel like the guys have been playing a little bit better and I hope we can tend to continue to trend that way. Joe, from, from your point of view, is it is it as simple of for Stafford and that offense get back on track just because Cooper's and Cooper's is healthy? Is it, was it just those two missing pieces that kind of got this thing rolling again? No, I think they have, you know, other good players. But like I said, when you have the trigger man, he can see it all, and he's making the right decisions. I mean, he's making great throws where the guys are draped all over him. Um, but again, having those guys, having that continuity, you know, you're out there with all your all your tools, all your weapons, and that gives him confidence. But uh, you can see that when they play. Um, you feel like there's some maybe some different play selections, you know, when they have all their players available. But like I said, they're, they're very good at what they do. They're very good in that system. And we're going to have to be on point, you know, on all three levels of our defense. With Puka specifically, you know, just the way he plays, the physicality, the size, yeah. the strength, is that something you have to kind of lock in on? Yeah, absolutely. We we experienced that last year. You know what I mean? So guys know what, what to expect. Uh, we definitely have to play better just in terms of the run game, and we have to play better because they're going to catch the ball. Based on what they do, they try to create space. So there's going to be some throws underneath. And again, they're bigger, stronger receivers. We're going to have to do a great job tackling those guys in space as well. And that game last year you know, was a, a big day for or a tough day for Elante Taylor yeah. uh, throughout that. Now he gets yeah. an opportunity to kind of you know, bounce back from that against yeah. the same opponent. What are you hoping to see from him this week? Just continue to be consistent. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of inconsist inconsistency in this game. You know, we talk about that. But the, for the most part, you're not going to make every play, but just be consistent. And um, when we played Atlanta, I mean, they copied the same plays. And they really, they ran at the same time. So he played well in that game, the same plays he got beat on last year against him. He defended, 
Um, but, you know, they're going to try to go after him a little bit, and I feel like, you know, he'll be ready for the challenge. How this, big is this sort of, you know, he's always complimented about his confidence in particular. Mm-hmm. How, how big is that in the game? Yeah, he, he's very confident, but you can't, you know, the thing is you can't ride the emotional roller coaster, right? Because, again, guys are going to make plays on you. So you have to kind of process it. What did I do wrong? Fix it and go on to the next thing and not let, let plays linger. And that's something that I feel like he's definitely improved on from last season. How similar are you know the, the, what the Falcons is running and what the Rams are running with Zach Robinson? Very, very similar. You know what I mean. But I think they're in the first year of what they're doing. And you know, Sean McVay's been there for a long time. You know, the players have been there for a long time. So just, they're well oiled in terms of what they're doing. Yeah, to, just from the, the standpoint of going against a similar offense twice already this year, is that beneficial for you know obviously even a lot of days? Yeah, it's one. it's beneficial. I mean, they're similar, but they're not the same. Right. I mean, when you look in terms of the run game, what they're doing, uh, some of the things I'm sure they're going to copy from uh, what teams did to attack us early in the season. Uh, but there are similarities, but they're they're different. Uh, I would say a little bit more complex in terms of what they're doing scheme-wise because of the experience that they have. What would you highlight in terms of the improvement last week against the run? Uh, just really guys doing their job. And you know, that's our, our whole plan, always just try to make teams one-dimensional. But it comes down to guys being in their gaps comes down to, you know, uh, linebackers, second level players in the secondary, fitting their gaps and then making tackles. So I thought we improved. It was good to see. And like I said, we got to continue to do that. Can you tell us real quick just a little bit yeah. about your impression of Nephi Sewell both on the field and in, in his rehab process? It's great to have him back. You know, he came back and, you know, they opened up his window and he was ready to go. You know, those dudes always want more reps, but it's good. He's he's so athletic. And there's versatile things he can do for us, but it's good to have him back at the end of rotation. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right.